capo in the first fret here, and that's only because of the solo, which is um, all pull-offs and everything, so I'm figuring it has to be, uh, there has to be a capo in that first fret. Um, I guess you could do this in standard tuning if you wanted to. You couldn't be able to, you wouldn't be able to play along with the uh, actual song, but you could just play it on your own. Uh, but you're better off, though, just investing in a 5 or $10 capo. Um, so here's a fifth string um, B flat, I guess. <laughs> just for tuning. I'll run through that bass line really quick because it helps set the mood for the song. Which is open sixth, fifth fret, third fret here, sixth, uh, fifth fret on the sixth, and then back. So it's... that little guitar riff. Which is on the fifth fret here of the second string. You slide it up one. And then you play the, the first string on the eighth fret. And I kind of play them together there. really quick. The main um, verse just has an F chord, which because of the capo, you know, it looks like an E chord. That goes on for quite a while. And then uh, the chords are, these are just straight bar chords on the uh, sixth fret, which is an A, a sharp. Up two frets for C. And this is an A minor 7th. Now that is like um, a, f a regular bar chord here on the 5th. You peel off this finger and you peel off that finger. So it's just basically uh, these two, but you're barring and playing all these strings on that fret. And then you're doing a D minor here on the 5th fret also, which you leave out this low string. And it's just like a regular bar chord on the 5th fret, but you move everything down one string. And you play all the top five strings here. So once again, from the chorus, uh, sorry, from the verse. Then you go back to the B flat or A sharp. Up two frets, and then back into the E. Or F, sorry. Run through that once really quick. Okay, so let's tackle these solos. They're actually not as hard as you would think they are, uh, although you never know it by how badly I played them in that opening. Um, but it's just individually, they're not hard. It's just hard to put them all, uh, to play them all together and make it sound smooth. And then you add cameras and lights on you, and it makes it even worse. I think it took me 17 takes just to get that uh, that out of it. So uh, let's get going here. Starting on this is this first part is all done on the second string. So you're uh, you're picking the note, and then you're playing an open string in between. Now you can pull off if you want, uh, I, but I think it sounds better if you pick each note. So it's sixth. And then open, fifth open, and sec uh, third open. Okay, so right, and then you're gonna grab the third fret here and hammer on to the fifth and pull off again, and then pull off to open. So it's. Okay, so there's just one pick in there. So once again. And 
then you just hit the second fret here of the uh, fourth string. And up to speed. So you play that twice in the song, and then the third time there's this uh, hammer on kind of thing, hammer on pull off kind of thing. And it starts this time on the fifth fret, and this is again all done on the second string. And it's uh, you start off with just one pick, hammer on. Up one, back down, and then open. And then you do that same kind of pattern here, but you're doing it on the, the third and the fifth fret. And you do that twice. And then that second fret again, fourth string. Last time through is actually the hardest by far, uh, because the feeling of the whole thing changes, and it actually also changes once you go up the neck again. It changes slightly again. Uh, it gets more staccato when you leave out the, that ringing open note on the last few times through. So I'll try to play it through once slowly. I think I'll do the first uh, couple of times through is I'll just show you the frets that I'm picking and I'm going to leave out that open note and that might make things a little easier to uh, to remember. So I'll turn sideways a little here and uh, we're starting on the sixth fret and I'll just I'll do it with one finger so you can see what note up. I won't use that finger. I'll show you so you can see exactly which uh, fret I'm playing starting here on the sixth. Okay, I'll do it one more time, starting on the 6th fret. And I blew that slide at the end. So that's the, the gist of the whole thing. So at first what you're doing is you're um, picking a note and then pulling off, picking a note, pulling it off. So it's... Now once you, once you hit that fourth fret note, which is kind of where... It's the odd note where everything changes. After that, it kind of gets easy because you just go dun, 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 up, up, high, yeah, high, low, high. So you're just going six, five, six, and then just move that up to eight, six, eight, and then ten, uh, ten, eight, ten, eleven, ten, eleven, and then just slide it up and end on the thirteenth. Okay, I'm just going to play it through a couple more times. And again.
again. I'll try it a little bit faster, maybe even up to speed. Oh, try that again. <laughs> 